Hi, my name is Linda Cambeek. This prophecy video is an overview of the soon to happen Great Tribulation. All events covered in this video are taken directly from the Bible. Watch for future videos where we will go into greater detail, again, all from the Bible. If this Bible teaching has been a blessing to you, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and be sure to recommend it to your friends. Thanks for watching. Welcome to our study today. Today's study is an overview of the Great Tribulation. Future studies will give you additional scriptural basis for this study. Blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. But you, Daniel, go your way until the end, for you shall rest and will rise to your inheritance at the end of the days. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. Our study today will begin at the fourth seal of the Book of Life. When the fourth seal opens, the pale horse that represents death is revealed. And where are we? Well, we're right before the opening of the fourth seal. That's where we are today. The fourth seal is the starting point of God's great tribulation. When the fourth seal is opened, the seven trumpets will be released to sound. These are the first plagues of Revelation 8-7. When the seventh trumpet has sounded, then will come the seven bowls. Sometimes these are called the seven last plagues of Revelation 13. And when the last bowl or the last plague is poured over the earth, then the sixth seal will be opened. The sixth seal is the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's what we're waiting for. So the time frame of the Great Tribulation is this. These are the 1,335 days, and they begin when the fourth seal is open, and then the trumpets and then the bowls, and finally the sixth seal is open. And this is what encompasses the 135 days. Step 1. The selection of the 144,000. The selection of the 144,000 is from every people group, God will select these individuals and will seal them. These will be honest in heart individuals. There will be about one in every 50,000 people groups. They will be God's chosen messengers, his prophets. Step two, the censor is cast down. 
Then the angel in heaven took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it to the earth. There came peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. This is the first of three global earthquakes that will occur during the Great Tribulation. Step 3. The fourth seal is opened. The fourth seal releases the trumpets. God's tolerance of the evils on earth has reached his limit. Earth's cup of iniquity is full. Then the seven angels, who had the seven trumpets, prepared to sound them. Step 4. The first four trumpets sound. These are the first four judgments of God. The first judgment will be fiery meteors impacting the grass and forests, causing widespread destruction by fire. The second judgment will be an asteroid impacting the ocean, causing water destruction. There will be tsunamis that destroy coastal cities. The third judgment will be an asteroid impact on a continent contaminating the water aquifer. The drinkable water will become poisonous. And the fourth judgment will be worldwide darkness over a third of the earth caused from the ejecta from the volcanic activity and the smoke from the fires. This is the time the first beast of Revelation 13.1 appears. It's a strange-looking beast. It has seven heads, ten horns, and ten crowns. The dragon, the devil, stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads, with ten crowns on its horns, and on each head a blasphemous name. This is the first beast from the sea, and this beast will be active for 42 months. The beast was given authority by God to continue for 42 months. That's exactly 1,260 days. It, this, this beast, was granted by God for him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. An authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. The seven heads on this beast represent seven religions. All the major religions of the world can be classified in these seven categories. And the people on earth will think that God is about to kill everyone on earth after the destruction of the first four trumpets. And they will ask their religious leaders, What have we done to anger God? The world's religions will identify corrective action laws they feel will appease God but they are wrong. Countries will then enact strict local laws that prohibit sins they feel that God abhors. These laws that supposedly prohibit sinning will be thought to be Earth's only hope of survival. Well, where are the 144,000 and the two witnesses at this time? 
The 144,000s are partners with the Holy Spirit in the Bible. These are God's two witnesses, and the 144,000 are given exact words to speak by Jesus. They are empowered by the Holy Spirit, and many sincere souls will take their stand for Jesus. But not everyone accepts God's salvation offer. Step 5. The Fifth Trumpet Sounds Then I saw another, the second beast of Revelation 13.11, the devil, coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. God allows the devil to appear on earth along with his evil angels, that's about 200 million of them. And I saw a star, the devil, that had fallen from the sky into the earth. The star, the devil, was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. That's the spirit world where the devil and his evil angels are restricted. And they, the devil and his angels, were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. The devil will masquerade as God himself. He is the real Antichrist. The devil will be magnificent to see and will perform many miracles. The devil will praise the work of the first beast of Revelation 13.1, that's the composite beast from the sea, and will encourage their evil activities. But why does God allow the devil to appear? It is because God wants the fence-sitters to get another chance. God allows the devil to torment the fence-sitters for five months, forcing them to make a decision whether they will be on the God side or whether they will be on the devil's side. In the end, there will only be two groups, God's saints, the sheep, and the devil's group, the goats. Step 6. The fifth seal is opened and the sixth trumpet sounds. Kill one-third of the earth. Release the four evil angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year. That is a very specific time to kill a third of the world's people. As many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Kill a third of the world's population. In other words, the decree went out, death to everyone who won't worship the beast. The beast is the devil masquerading as Jesus and receive his mark of the beast or his name. The devil, the second beast of Revelation 13, 11, will change his posture and turn into a tyrant showing his true colors. No longer will he be benevolent performing miracles. He will abolish all the religions of the world and set up a theocracy, an image to the second beast, with ten regional kings as rulers. These are the ten horns on the sea beast. He will issue the mark of the beast, which is 666, and many Christians at this time will be martyred. Step 7. 
The Seventh Trumpet Sounds Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and there was seen an, the Ark of His Covenant that indicates that Jesus' heavenly intercession is over. God's people are sealed. No more saints will be martyred. And at this time, with the opening of, of the temple of God to earth, there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, and an earthquake and great hailstorm. This is the second of three global earthquakes that will occur during the Great Tribulation. Step 8. The Seven Bowls Who receives the seven bowls or the seven last plagues? Then I heard a loud voice. Go pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. The seven bowls, also called the seven last plagues, are poured out on those who have the mark of the beast, the 666. Step 9. The sixth seal is opened. The sixth seal is the second coming of Jesus. Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come, for the harvest of earth is ripe. Jesus comes to redeem his children from all ages. Then, at his coming, the last of the three global earthquakes will occur. And what of the fate of the wicked? The two of them, the devil and the false prophet, were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest, who had the mark of the beast, were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider, that's Jesus, on the horse. The saints are taken up into heaven to spend a thousand years with Jesus. And then, step 10, the seventh seal is opened. The Great White Throne Judgment And I saw the dead standing before the Great White Throne, and their actual life's record, their books, were opened. Another book was opened, which is the Book of Life. This book was written by God the Father from the foundation of the world. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in their books. Notice, they were judged by their actual life's deeds. Jesus opens the books and the book of life. He reviews all the opportunities each person had to accept his offer of eternal life, but had rejected his offer. God the Father knew from the foundations of the world who would be saved or lost, but did not use this to influence or limit his actions. And as the books are compared, the day-by-day -day record compared to what God the Father had written and recorded in the Book of Life. Surprisingly, these books are identical. So Jesus' plea for everyone today, Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha 
and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. And so, my friend, considering that the time is near, keep studying your Bible. Earth's time is running out. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you the Bible's truths. Jesus is coming soon. God bless you and your family.